Most of us think that the desert is just a vast expanse of nothingness and sand swirling to the wind. But in reality, there's so much more to see in these seemingly empty spaces. From the oldest natural mummy on Earth to an alleged giant, here are 20 mysterious things found in the desert. Number 20. The Oldest Natural Mummy on Earth In 1940, archaeologists Sidney and Georgia Wheeler discovered what soon came to be known as the oldest natural mummy on Earth. The preserved body was found in Spirit Cave 13 miles east of Fallon, Nevada, dating over 10,000 years ago. The first time the remains were discovered, they were only initially believed to be a mere 1,500 to 2,000 years old. It wasn't until 1996 that the actual age of the mummy was revealed. This later analysis not only shattered previous records, but also showed the chronology of human presence in the Great Basin around 7420 BC. But it seemed that the mummy's discovery just started a two-decade debate. After the mummy's discovery, the Native Americans and the U.S. government had a long debate about the origins of the preserved remains. Limited technology at the time made it impossible to accurately determine the heritage of the mummy. In 2018, the mystery behind the spirit cave man was finally put to an end, subsequently ending the 20-year-long debate between the natives and the U.S. government. New research revealed that just as the Native Americans in the region claimed, DNA testing revealed that the mummy was indeed related to a modern Native American tribe. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 19. 13-foot cryptid that battled the U.S. Special Ops In most cases, cryptids are considered nothing but figments of our imaginations. But the Kandahar giant's existence cannot be easily dismissed. There are claims that the special forces battled this creature themselves. This cryptid is often described as an enormous humanoid creature. It was allegedly encountered by a group of American Army soldiers in the desert region of Afghanistan in 2002. The fight between the giant and the soldiers allegedly happened while the group was on the search for missing soldiers. It was then that they were attacked by a figure with red hair, extra fingers, double teeth, and a statue that was between 12 to 15 feet. The giant of Kandahar used a massive spear to attack the soldiers, but the latter, equipped with heavy and modern equipment, turned out to be the victors. The official stance by the Department of Defense is one of denial, with no records acknowledging the incident. This lack of confirmation only fuels the narrative, with some suggesting a government cover-up. To this day, however, many continue to believe that this is indeed true, and the cryptid indeed existed before it was slain. Who knows? Perhaps it was experimented after it was slain. But of course, we can only speculate. Number 18. Uluru Now here's a profound enigma in the heart of the Australian desert. Uluru, also known as Ayers Rock, more than a geological wonder, it's steeped in aboriginal lore, regarded by the Anangu people as a spiritual site. In fact, the locals often view it as a mythical entity that surveys the desert annually. It's often seen as the one that controls the weather, especially the unique and unexplainable types. For this reason, climbing this rock is seen as unlucky. In fact, there are accounts of unexplained incidents befalling those who scale it. The rock formations and caves around Uluru are thought to house ancestral spirits, transforming into natural features to become vessels of sacred power. For this reason, aside from climbing the rock, it's also considered unlucky to take a piece of stone from the site and take it home. Those who do often return the rock to hopefully end the series of misfortune that somehow befell it. But the mystery of the Aluru rock doesn't end there. The rock is positioned in a way that its color changes along with the sun's rotation. This unique feature makes it all the more mythical for tourists and locals alike. Number 17 ancient rock carving. You might think that you're just looking at an ordinary rock, but in reality, you're looking at the oldest blueprint known to humanity. Those scratches aren't there by accident either. In fact, they're deliberately made by people who lived a long time ago. These lines together form a meticulous map of something called desert kites, massive stone structures that sprawl for miles, used by our ancestors as a clever trap to easily hunt wild animals for their next meal. Found at Jabal al-Kashabiye and Jebel Aziliat, this rock art shows an insane level of detail, capturing the entire layout of these kites with stunning precision. The desert kites themselves are brilliant creations. After all, these were made with almost the same accuracy as modern-day GPS. What's more, these kites spanned across Saudi Arabia to Kazakhstan with more than 6,000 of them. By funneling unsuspecting animals through these walls into a death trap, 
These hunters showed us that they were not just toughing it out in the desert. They were strategic masterminds from as early as 7000 BCE. Now remember, these were all made between 7000 and 9000 years ago. This goes to show that our ancestors were indeed more intelligent than we give them credit for. Number 16. The Mysterious Dulce Base Nestled in the rugged terrain near the town of Dulce, New Mexico, lies the stuff of legend and conspiracy, Dulce Base. This mythical underground facility, a supposed collaboration effort between humans and extraterrestrials, is shrouded in tales of alien encounters and bizarre happenings. The rumors started to swirl in the late 70s, thanks to Albuquerque businessman Paul Benowitz, who believed he was picking up alien communications. His claims hit the popular press and sparked a wildfire of speculation within UFO circles. By the 80s, the Dulce Base story had taken on a life of its own, with claims of grey aliens and humans working side by side, and tales of abductions and otherworldly skirmishes echoing the pulp science fiction of decades past. Despite the lack of concrete evidence, the legend endures, fueled by local sightings of unexplained phenomena and a community that ceased to integrate surrounding Dulce Base as a potential tourist draw. The Dulce legend has even been likened to earlier science fiction narratives, such as the Shaver Mystery, which spoke of malevolent beings from beneath the Earth. Whether as a modern myth or an unexplained enigma, Dulce Base continues to intrigue many from all around the world. Now, you might have already heard about the Dulce Base. If so, Perhaps you can share anything you've heard about it in the comments down below. Number 15. The Desert Breath There's a peculiar wonder etched into the sands near Hergada, Egypt, where the vastness of the desert meets the horizon. A colossal formation known as the Desert Breath. This formation sprawls nearly 1 million square feet, and it's a masterful geometrical formation that continuously changes along with the wind that blows throughout the desert a set of spiraling cones and depressions that have intrigued and bewildered many. When it was first sensationalized, many thought it was a formation created by extraterrestrials. However, this isn't the truth. In fact, the truth just might be a bit more anticlimactic. Crafted by the DASTR team, this installation was a labor of love and precision, emerging from the desert's embrace as a statement on the intersection of human creativity and the timeless landscape. As the years passed, the winds of the Sahara have slowly reclaimed the cones and pits, reflecting the intended transience of this magnificent place. While it's disappointing that as years passed by, this formation disappeared, but that's exactly what the artist intended for this formation. I really would have wanted to see this formation in person, with how large it was. I bet it looked as incredible as it did in bird's eye view. Number 14. The Sun Temple Tucked away beneath the shifting sands near Cairo, Archaeologists have unearthed a piece of history, a temple from 4,500 years ago, hidden beneath the remnants of a newer construction made for the pharaoh Nusera. This discovery at Abu Ghurab marks only the third such temple found on the six mentioned in ancient inscriptions, underscoring Egypt's fifth dynasty's devotion to the sun god Ra. The initial uncertainty about the temple's origins gave way to excitement as the team, led by Massimiliano Nazzolo, uncovered ritual beer jars dating back to the mid-25th century BCE, before Nusera's time, signifying the temple's antiquity and sacred purpose. These sun temples were more than monumental structures. They were vehicles for pharaohs to deify themselves, embodying Ra's divine power. As the mysteries of who built this temple and the whereabouts of the remaining three temples linger, the site provides a precious glimpse into the ancient Egyptians' religious practices, daily life, and the regal ambitions that shaped their civilization. Number 13. Well of Hell In the remote stretches of the Yemeni desert, about 20 miles from the Omani border, lies a curious and enigmatic pit known as the Well of Hell. And trust me, it's befitting of its name. This sinister-sounding sinkhole, also known as the Well of Barhut, is likely millions of years old and it's a staggering 367 feet into the earth. According to local lore, it's a place where ancient kings commanded jinn to conceal treasures, or as others believe, a prison for evil, uncontrollable jinn. These tales likely find their roots in Islamic hadiths, which suggest that the well could be a barzakh, a sort of limbo for sinful souls, contrasting with the pure waters of Zamzam. In Islamic tradition, jinn are beings created from smokeless fire, possessing free will, just like humans. They're part of the unseen world, al Ghaib, and are capable of good or evil, with some considered to be malevolent spirits. Over time, 
Places difficult to understand or reach, such as this well, have often been embroidered with stories to explain their mystery, discourage the curious, or assert ownership. As suggested by Mohammed al-Kindi, who estimates the sinkhole could be several million years old. Recently, cave explorers have dropped to the bottom of the Well of Hell for the first time. Ten cave explorers from the Omani Caves Exploration Team ventured down this seemingly bottomless pit. Contrary to myths and legends, there were no jinn or evil spirits down there, but rather several animals, both alive and dead. Snakes, birds, frogs, and beetles. Despite this exploration, however, we're nowhere near learning everything there is about this hole. Number 12. 36 million year old sea monster. Venture into the Okokahe Desert of Peru, and you'll find yourself stepping onto what was once a seabed teeming with ancient life. Here, paleontologists unveiled a fascinating discovery. The remains of an ancient whale, dubbed a sea monster that roamed the seas 36 million years ago. Known as the Okokahe Predator, this Bacillosaurus was a dominant force in the waters of its time, a top predator with massive teeth for feasting on fish, penguins, and even sharks. Its remarkable state of preservation is causing a stir in the scientific community, with a Bacillosaurus skull complete with a full set of teeth. Such preservation is rare, leading researchers to believe it may be an entirely new species. With its 55-foot length and robust dentition, it's no surprise this creature was likely the ruler of this aquatic domain. But what makes the Akukahe Desert genuinely extraordinary is its trove of fossils that allow scientists to piece together a history of the Peruvian Sea, dating back 42 million years. Who knows what other ruthless creatures lurked in our oceans back then? Number 11. Cinema at the End of the World Now imagine walking in the expanse of the Sinai Desert, a 23,000 square mile stretch in Egypt. The desert is quite vast, but most of the time, You'd find nothing there but, well, a vast stretch filled with sand and the occasional creature that somehow manages to thrive in the extreme conditions of the desert. And so, just imagine people's surprise when they found an empty old cinema right there in the heart of the desert. Such a sight wouldn't make sense at first. However, in the early 2000s, a Frenchman, inspired after a visit to Cairo, investigated an original seats and projection equipment to create a movie theater amidst the dunes. His vision was brought to life with a generator for electricity and a screen hoisted by a tractor. Yet, this project was short-lived for obvious reasons. The Egyptian authorities did not share his enthusiasm and shut it down, leaving the cinema to get buried by the sands of time. Well, if you think it'd be a dream to watch a movie while sand shifts all around you, then perhaps you can simply just venture into this empty cinema, whip out your phone, and try to experience the magic of the desert. Number 10. Creepy Clown Motel In the arid expanse of the Nevada desert, there lies an unexpected and unnerving spectacle, the Clown Motel. Located in Tonopa, a town that strikes a balance between nowhere and somewhere, this motel is famed for its vast collection of clown figures and its eerie atmosphere. Opened in 1985 by Leroy and Leona David, the Clown Motel was initially a tribute to their late father, Clarence David, who adored clowns. The collection began with over 150 clown statues and has since grown to over 2,000 pieces of memorabilia. For those of you who are deathly afraid of these comical figures covered in makeup, this is probably a real-life nightmare. Now, what makes this location even more horrifying is the fact that it's nestled right beside the historic Tonopah Cemetery. So not only is it located in the middle of the desert, but it's also beside a cemetery. Talk about a double whammy. Over the years, the motel has changed hands, but its unique charm remains intact. Bob Perchetti, a local businessman, took ownership in 1995 and maintained the motel for 22 years before putting it up for sale. It was later bought by Vijay Mihar, who has continued to add to the clown collection and uphold the motel's quirky legacy. Any one of you guys had the chance to visit? Any ghost stories to share? I'd love to read about them, and I'm sure others would be delighted to hear about them too. Number 9 ranch for sale. For the majority of us, aliens and the extraterrestrials are just fun topics to discuss, something that we wonder about from time to time. But for a ranch owner in the middle of Arizona's desert, they pose a real problem, and I bet you won't be able to guess just what exactly this problem entails. The Stardust Ranch is a property that stands out not just for its sprawling 10-acre size or the amenities it boasts, including a sizable home and an in-ground pool, 
but for its bizarre reputation as a hotspot for extraterrestrial encounters. The ranch's owner, John Edmonds, has recounted harrowing tales of alien confrontations and strange phenomena that seem more like the makings of a science fiction novel than real-life events. Edmonds' stories include defending his wife from alien abductions and battling the invaders with a samurai sword. These encounters reportedly resulted in visible scars, though physical evidence of the aliens themselves, such as bodies, conveniently disappeared upon their demise. The ranch, first listed for sale at $1.7 million, saw its price skyrocket to $5 million following national attention. Edmonds warns any prospective buyer to visit and witness the oddities of the ranch firsthand. Whether this is a stunt to increase the value of the ranch or not, we're yet to know. Who knows? He might have already planned on selling the ranch, but saw no audience. Perhaps this story increased its likelihood of selling tenfold. But of course, this is only a theory. Number 8. The Great City of Petra Now this is a site that you wouldn't expect in the middle of the desert. You're looking at the wonderful city of Petra, and you wouldn't believe its origins. Petra, tucked within the desert of southwest Jordan, is an ancient city carved from cliffs of dusky pink sandstone. This archaeological wonder was once the thriving capital of the Nabataean Kingdom, with origins dating back to as early as 1200 BCE when it was known by its biblical name, Sela. It's now in ruins but its history reveals how it was once a crucial route for spice trade connecting vast and varied civilizations from China to Rome. This city has a long history and has been inhabited since prehistoric times. After all, it's in an excellent location due to its geographic positioning. The inhabitants also had an ingenious water management system which allowed the city to further flourish. However, after Roman annexation and subsequent shifts in trade routes, the city began to decline with a catastrophic earthquake in 551 CE further sealing its fate. Centuries passed with Petra all but forgotten until it was rediscovered in 1812 by the Swiss explorer Johann Ludwig Burckhardt. And so today, this city is one of the most stunning and mysterious locations you can visit in the Jordan Desert. Number 6. The World's Deadliest Feline I know you're wondering what's so mysterious about this creature, but what you're looking at are adult felines. Yes, these kitten-like creatures are the adult form of the species. Confusing, right? What's more perplexing is that these are considered the deadliest feline in the world. You heard that right. Also known as Felis nigripus, the African black-footed cat stands at just a mere 8 to 10 inches tall and weighs roughly 200 times less than the average lion. It's also the most efficient feline predator on the planet. It looks like a house cat, but don't be fooled. This tabby might look adorable and gentle, but when you see it in action, hunting prey, it's a huntress. With this small cat's metabolism, it could easily fetch an average of 10 to 14 birds or rodents every night, more than what a leopard hunts in a month. With a 60% success rate, it easily topples down the lion's record of only about 20 to 25%. I know that you're probably itching to see one of them in person, but, well, these furry friends are better off left in their own habitats. Number 5. Mysterious Zigzag Patterns in China Desert In 2011, the internet was puzzled when the unexplainable zigzag patterns appeared on the Gobi Desert. The patterns stood out amidst the desert so much that they were visible from space. For this reason, theories about the patterns being made by extraterrestrial creatures flooded in. However, it turned out that the zigzag patterns served a more logical purpose. It was later revealed that the patterns were part of China's mission to calibrate spy satellites. According to Jonathan Hill from the Mars Space Flight Facility at Arizona State University, these patterns are reminiscent of the images used to calibrate satellites. Now this might sound suspicious, but in reality, China has been known to operate spy satellites, and so do other countries that we don't know yet. For instance, the United States also once built a calibration target for the Corona spy satellite back in the 1960s. If you're curious, it's located in Casa Grande, Arizona. Might be fun to search it up and read into this topic in your spare time if this subject is up your alley. I know I would. Number 4. Ghost Footprints In the Utah desert, an astonishing discovery surfaced when archaeologists stumbled upon ghost footprints, ancient tracks that became visible only after a rain revealed them against the salt flats. People left footprints in shallow water that filled with sand, resembling beach imprints. Under the sand, mud preserved the footprints, which later filled with salt and blended with the landscape when dry. When it rains, the hidden muddy footprints trap water, 
creating dark, wet patches that contrast with the surroundings, revealing the ancient imprints. These footprints, thought to be up to 12,000 years old, likely belong to hunter-gatherers from the end of the last ice age. They directly connect to the prehistoric life that once thrived in this now-arid landscape. The discovery is significant not just for the number of footprints found, but also because it offers a tangible glimpse into the lives of people who once walked these wetlands. As researchers continue to examine these prints using techniques like ground-penetrating radar or GPR and radiocarbon dating, they hope to uncover more about the daily lives and movements of ancient human groups in North America. Number 3. 7,000-Year-Old Cult Site Imagine stumbling upon an ancient stone structure, not just any ordinary ruins, but one filled with thousands of animal bones and remnants of human life. That's exactly what researchers discovered deep in a desert in Saudi Arabia. In the location identified as Mustatil, which gets its name from the Arabic word for a rectangle, over 3,000 fragments of animal bones were found. These bones reveal rituals performed by people more than 7,000 years ago in this rectangular structure. Researchers found cattle and goat horns and skulls, pointing towards some form of ceremony, perhaps even a cattle cult as some suggest. What's more, human bones of at least nine individuals, from infants to adults, were also discovered, indicating this might have been a collective burial site. Yet, the true purpose of these mustatils, which dot the Saudi landscape, remain mysterious. We know these sites were significant, possibly serving as shrines where ancient people gathered, maybe nomads congregating at the close of the rainy season. The animal remains, especially the burnt ones, suggest ritualistic offerings. The site's preservation gives us a rare, almost untouched glimpse into ancient practices and beliefs. Now, we're yet to learn about the gods they worshipped, and the lack of records makes it hard for us to understand the beliefs our prehistoric ancestors once held. However, it is incredible to think that even the earliest of humanity already had faith to higher beings, something that we carry on to this day. Number 2. First Boomerang Meteorite In the sprawling sands of the Sahara Desert, Scientists have identified what could be the first known boomerang meteorite. No, it's not a boomerang-shaped meteorite. It's a chunk of rock that originated on Earth, was ejected into space, and then made a return trip back to our planet, like a boomerang that returns to its origin. This meteorite, found in Morocco and officially named Northwest Africa 13188, or simply NWA 13188, Chemical analysis suggests that this space rock shares a similar composition to volcanic rocks here on Earth, but with other elements. In simple terms, its composition suggests that NWA13188 didn't just come from space. It was part of our world, launched into the cosmos by a massive asteroid impact around 10,000 years ago, before gravity eventually pulled it back down. But one major puzzle since its discovery is that there's a lack of a young impact crater on Earth that matches the timeline of the meteorite's voyage. Scientists have noted that such an event should have left a significant mark on the planet's surface, but none of the known craters fit the bill. To this day, we're yet to know just how this boomerang meteorite got launched into space and where the crater it initially left behind is. I guess the wonders of space really are endless. And now it's time for today's topic. A surveyor flew a drone above the desert, but he didn't expect what he saw. The drone makes a chilling discovery in this desert by accident. While flying over the vast expanse of the desert, the drone captured this seemingly bizarre formation. The operator shared this photo online, hoping to learn more about what it was. It seemed like a circular and conical formation of jagged rocks. It was unlike anything he'd ever seen, leaving him bewildered and astonished. He claimed it looked like a secret base, or perhaps a mysterious formation left behind by entities not from our planet. And to this day, we're yet to learn as to what this formation really is. Now who knows just what this drone really discovered? The operator is out of theories, so if anyone has any, feel free to leave it in the comments down below. Number 1. 480 Million Year Old Mystery Creature Now imagine a creature from a whopping 480 million years ago which to the untrained eye might look more like a bizarre piece of ancient art than a living thing. This is the Styloforan, a life form that's perplexed experts ever since its fossils were first discovered. However, recently, scientists discovered preserved fossils found in Morocco, and it just so happened that there's still soft tissue along with the creature's bones. Now, it's not hard to figure out that tissues are considered the holy grail in paleontology because it can tell us so much more about the creature's life. 
After the discovery of the tissue, the mystery behind this 480 million creature was finally ended. It turned out that it belonged to an echinoderm family, the same one that sea stars and sea cucumbers belong to. Almost 500 million years old, these creatures looked like flat armored plates with strange arms sticking out. These creatures were part of a group that includes some of the earliest members of the echinoderms, which are like distant cousins to us vertebrates. That's right, this little disc with an arm tells us about the early branches of our own family tree. This is the reason why each creature we discover from millions of years ago is important to paleontologists, scientists, and other experts. They tell us a lot not only about how life changed and evolved on our planet, but there's also a big possibility that the discovery would tell us about our own. These discoveries continue to prove that the desert is indeed a mysterious place. Who knows what other mysteries it would reveal? And if you think we missed a discovery, please feel free to share it in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.